Well, hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm here live at the Jacksonville RV Show, and today we are taking a look at all the Class A diesel pushers. And with me is Mr. Tommy Bennett. Hello, hello, welcome. Good to see you again. Tom, how's it going? It's going great. We have got a mixed bag of diesel product here. A little bit of everything from Winnebago's, Integris, Fleetwood Holiday Rambler, Thor, Tiffin. Yes. We've got them all. We're going to take a look at every single one of them. A short look. So. Yep. And what we're doing, Tom, is we're showing everybody the sale price that we have here at the show this weekend. That is the price for this weekend. Don't call Tom next week and try to get the price that you see today because, Tom, what happens on Sunday? Show prices are gone. There you go. Let's take a look. Uh, and you say we're starting from like the smallest kind of first? Well, we have a little loop here between brands, and I think we should just start on this end. Okay. Why not right here? The first one we have an Integra Riata XL. Yes. So this is a 40 foot RV, a bath and a half floor plan, a lot of great features to it. Let's take a look. So a couple neat things about the Integra Riata XL. First thing is this is on a K2 Spartan chassis. It has independent front suspension and an excellent ride. The floor plan itself is pretty good too. You have your power recliners right here across from your televator. So you have windows or TV right here and two places to sit. So great for a bigger family. Nice kitchen here with induction cooktop. It's important to note, this is an all electric coach. So it has an aqua hot hydronic heating system. It's great for cold weather very comfortable and all around just good to use as you move towards the back you've got a nice pantry here yes. residential refrigerator with ice and water right there on the door directly across from your half bath tommy what engine does this have on it this has a cummins isl engine with 380 horsepower man that's nice so this King is about a 40 footer as well King size adjustable bed. You got lots of storage here and then a fireplace. And this is actually a little clothes hamper. Oh, wow. Very cool. Pretty neat way to use that space. Huge shower here. You have a stackable washer dryer. This is your full bath here in the back. And then a good amount of counter space on your vanity here. Lots of good storage behind yeah, yeah. these pieces. So if you got a lot of stuff to bring with you, you can have that. Per Tommy, what's the price on this? This RV has an MSRP of $384,000, but it's $110,000 off here today at $275,995.99. And you guys better hop in the car and come to Jacksonville because that expires Sunday at 5 or that, 4. That's right. So we've seen this one. Let's take a look at what's next up. And that is our beautiful... Winnebago Forza. Now this is the 38F floor plan. So a little bit shorter than what you have in that Integra, but a lot of great features here as well. See, here's what I love. Uh, right off the bat, I can tell that this isn't as nice as that. And what I love to tell people is, it's not as nice as that, but it is also 219. So it's not about which one's better. That one's better. But the question is, is that one $60,000 better than this one? To some people it is, and to other people it isn't. And Winnebago really gives you a great value for your dollar. It's a well-made RV. It has a Freightliner chassis, and it's got a lot of good features here, too. This floor plan is also a bath-and-a-half layout at 38 feet. It's got more of a front kitchen setup. Okay. Um, being a propane coach, you have the three-burner cooktop, convection microwave, residential refrigerator, a really good-sized sink there, too, so a nice kitchen to work with. You've got the fireplace and television right across from your couch here, so a nice setup. As you move towards the back, half bath. Yes, sir. Right across from your washer-dryer. Very nice. It's a stackable whirlpool right there. Some good storage here, king size bed. Looks like that's an air mattress too. Nice. And then as you go here in the back, you have the dual vanities. Wow. Big shower, dual vanities. Very nice. Tommy, let's check out the next one. Notice here as well, this has the drop down bed up front. So if you have a family, some extra sleeping, you can have a place for them to rest without using your dinette. It's just a little bit more comfortable for a group. Yeah, Something for sure. else on the way out here, Winnebago has these nice seats that have a built-in little pad for you, extra space. Just a Winnebago feature. 
So the next one we have here. We're live again. So next up here is your Thor Palazzo 33.5. And what I love about this one is that it is short. This is only a 33 foot diesel pusher. So very uh, good with fuel economy, space. You can park this thing nearly anywhere. And it has a floor plan that's again, great for a family. The 33.5 is a bunkhouse. Wow, with a mid-entry door. Mid-entry door bunkhouse, meaning you got the bunk up here, extra sleeping in the back, good size bed and then um, I guess the living room there in the, in the back area. You can sleep, what, 10 people in here? Comfortably. Comfortably. Very big and spacious bedroom. Really big motorhome for being so small. And something else here, this is a north-south bed, yeah. as we call it. So you get better windows and good storage on both sides. A really spacious you know, room for you to have here. So if you have the kids out in this area, you have your own space there, which is pretty comfortable. This bunk will fold up and mm. become a closet. Love if that. It's not what you have in use. Um, you've got the induction cooktop, convection microwave, TV right across from your couch, so a comfortable living area as well. And the best thing about this RV is that it is affordable. Wow. It has an MSRP of 250 but it's discounted nearly $70,000 to 179 That's about the price of a gas motorhome. Right. No, that's what I was about to say. You, you, get, you get an upper echelon Southwind or something, you're coming close to that price. And with this, of course, you've got the Cummins engine, Allison transmission that'll mm. last forever. If you want to tow, put 10,000 pounds back there and don't even worry about it. So really a great value for a short, fuel-efficient RV. Perfect. And I would check that 10,000. I think it's 8,000 on this one. I think, because this one has a 300. Huh. Just saying, for legal. Hey, right. day Tommy, for legal reasons. Always check, always check with the dealer. So the next one up is the Thor Aria 3901. A really nice floor plan here. So this RV Freightliner chassis as well, Cummins 360 engine, mm. Allison 3000 transmission. I know for sure this one tows 10,000 pounds. Hell yeah, only in America. So theater seating right across from your Televator, extra couch that makes a bed. It's that Thor trifold bed, so it's really comfortable for two adults. As you move to the back, a great kitchen here. Oh, tons yeah. and tons of counter space. Look at this, two man. huge sinks, induction cooktop, so really comfortable there. Um, another TV. Yeah. You never have too many TVs. Never have too many. Half bath, which really has a lot of counter space in there. Yeah, for sure. Great storage, stackable washer dryer right here. One thing I like about these Aureas is the wood is a little bit more modern. It's yeah. not as uh, decorative and flashy, shiny Gaudy. like a lot of them. So this looks pretty modern. We like it. Dual vanities in the back and tons of counter wow, space. Wow, that is insane. A huge shower as well. So this is a really comfortable RV if you're going to stay in it for a long time. Folks thinking of seasonal camping, full-time living, this is a pretty good one. Right, and, and the price, you know, when we're talking diesels, it is kind of affordable um, with a two twenty nine dollars sale price. Well, you got $105,000 off here wow. at the show, so it's really a great value for this one as wow. well. Um, a lot of coaches in this category have smaller engines, fewer features, and won't have nearly the size you have here. And Thor is always great about their features and technology that they have in the RV. Of course, this has the Wi-Fi system, mm. the satellite, Firefly multiplex system, and up front, you've got the Freightliner OptiView digital dash. Everything's laid out in a very comfortable way. These seats look comfortable, too. Yeah. And then you have your... Um, your touchscreen here, which says your navigation, mm. radio. It also does Apple CarPlay. Wow. Which is pretty nice. You can plug right into this thing and have all the tech you're used to driving your car. I love it. Cool. So it looks like we have another Aria here. We're yes, going to skip um, that one. This next Aria is the Aria 4000 floor plan. Oh. It's kind of the best bunkhouse out there. It's on the Ray Trail Freightliner chassis Atlas Foundation, so you have a ridiculous amount of storage underneath. I guess we're going in. Yeah, let's check. We're going in. So you have those same tech features that we saw in that prior Aria, except for the layout here is just a little bit different. Mm. And what makes this special is that it's two full bathrooms and a bunkhouse. So wonderful floor plan for the family. You've got this Look at that dinette, Tommy. Dinette. Look how wide it is. Dang. So really comfortable TV right across from your couch here. A great kitchen. 
Now, usually these things are the first to go when you have a bunkhouse. Yeah. Right. Smaller kitchen, smaller living room, smaller bedrooms. But the 4000, however they designed it, is great for that. Wow. Stackable washer dryer in a bunkhouse. In a bunkhouse, stackable, that's crazy. Here are your bunks right here. Mm, yep. This is a 74 inch bunk. So wow. pretty long bunk as well. A full bath right here in the middle of the RV. King size bed with good walk space on both sides. You've got extra storage Look here. Look how big the storage is. I mean, you can actually fit your stuff in there. And nice pullouts in here too. Yeah, for sure. Behind this and then look at that opening to the bathroom. It's like not small and tight and claustrophobic. Dual vanities, good space back here, a great size shower as wow. well. This That's floor insane. plan has it all. Yeah. So for multi-purpose use or, or if you have a big family, this is a great RV. Yeah, for sure. Especially uh, for that price point as well. Getting some 40 foot with bonks, that's crazy. $100,000 off here at the show. All Again. The way from 341 to 239, another great value. And what I like to tell people is, uh, there's been a lot of videos online of dealerships trying to take advantage of what's been going on. We're Listen, we're still making money, right? We're a business, we gotta make money, but we're still giving people excellent show deals. Especially here at the show where we have extra help from the manufacturer. Yeah. Those rebates for people that buy here at the show really help us lower our costs down and, and get you a better deal. Yeah, now Tommy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it up. Let's cut through here, I see a Super C. It's a new uh, Integra Accolade. I guess in the spirit of hitting all the diesels, we wouldn't yeah. wanna leave these guys out. So the Integra Accolade here is a Freightliner chassis. Hey, it is so much better than Magnitude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep going, keep going. Let's take a look at the 37 TS. What's really Man. special about these Integras, let's get these lights on, is go. that your towing is fantastic. Your yes. ride is just great. It's got the air ride rear axle there. They turn very sharp and it's a class c so you have access to your engine and it's just more comfortable for some folks that want a big rv but don't want to jump into the bus style class a this floor plan is unique in that it has dual opposing slides so mm -hmm. it gives you that huge living room you've got the televator across from your theater seating mm -hmm. an extra couch a dinette and then this huge wraparound kitchen it has a fixed sink here and then this part of the kitchen is what moves so it gives you that that huge wraparound spot. Great for staying in it long term or something like that. Geez, look at this fridge. That's a huge fridge. It is gigantic. Mm. Sitting way up here. Place for the ice and the water. It has an outside vanity. So your bathroom is right here. There's your shower. Good wow. space in there too. Yes, yes. King size bed. You've got this spot here that you can put a washer dryer in. Yep. See, a lot of people don't like this split bathroom but I prefer that they did that rather than trying to cram it all in here. Now you have plenty of toilet space. Yeah, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt that you gotta come out to use that, but at least you're more comfortable using the bathroom. Yeah, good space. For those who want a class C, this is as much space as you can get. Great towing, incredible storage underneath, which is something we haven't looked at yet, but it's still very good. Altogether, nice RV. Perfect. Let's check out the Magnet too. So the Magnitude is a Super C as well, but it's a little bit shorter. I'm gonna see which floor plan we have here. SV34 with the outside kitchen. Oh, great. So, so this is a Super C under 35 feet. You get all the power, all the comfort of driving that Super C, but just a little bit shorter. You know, that Integra, 39 feet, three inches overall, might be a little big for some. Yeah. So I think the Magnitude does a great job of keeping things small. What's neat about this floor plan is this outside kitchen. So of course you got the double doors, big storage out there, outside entertainment, a long awning, nearly as long as this RV, and an outside kitchen right here. Nice. Let's take a look. I think we're lucky enough today to have our rep from Thor here. I think he's hiding inside. The Honorable. What's going on, James? How are we doing? Why is it all dark in here? Well, because oh, the batteries are dead. Save us some better. Okay. Oh, there we go. Nice Keep the light on. What's up, James? How are we doing? Talk to us. Talk to America. Hey, good to be here. Tell us about the magnitude. In, but like a 30-second 30 30 cliff second note. Clip, yeah. All right. What would you like me to cover? Just basically freestyle, brother. Freestyle. You know, I think I think we need to spend a little time 
talking about this new F550 chassis. Okay, well, let's show the inside and then we'll meet you outside. You Perfect. can talk, tell us about that chassis. So, it's SV34, still a very short RV, but it gives you a lot of living space with this full wall slide. It has Thor's very flat panel looking modern wood, so it has that modern feel. Doesn't look like your grandparents' RV. Um, nice kitchen, great counter space here. I like how they finished the backsplash here. All very mm -hmm. nice residential features. Good size bathroom. It's a rectangular shower, so you got more elbow room in yeah, there. Yeah, still very good size. Residential refrigerator. Yep. Great storage back here. A king size bed. Looks gigantic. It is gigantic. Um, it's a big one. And a window in the back. Two ACs here, so pretty comfortable setup. So, James, can you tell us a little bit about that F550? Wow, look at that sale price. You, know, let's you ever seen a sale price that good at a show? That is phenomenal. That's phenomenal. There you go. Are we going outside or are you staying inside? It's up to you. What do you want to do? Yeah, we're live, so you can do whatever you want. All right, perfect. So the this is our, our 2020 uh, Ford F550 chassis. We start with the XLT package. Um, it Really what I think is so cool about this is you're getting all of the power of the diesel. But when you look around in the cab, it's so comfortable. You get all these cab conveniences. Um, one of the things that I really like, they have the sync free system with built-in navigation. You have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Um, you've got a factory integrated brake controller. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that really sets this apart is the four-wheel drive. So in oh, this wow. particular floor plan, the SV34, um, it does come standard with four-wheel drive capability from the factory. Um, this is putting out 330 horsepower. Mm. 825 pound feet of torque mm. this is now the uh, third generation of their 6.7 liter power stroke v8 from ford so there's tons and tons of power and torque for towing perfect uh, this has a 10,000 pound hitch on it um, and then also this is new with a 10 speed automatic transmission from ford nice and so we they jumped all the way from a six speed to a 10 speed um, which helps your fuel economy it's smooth it's quiet so it's just all around an awesome driving experience. If I can hit on one thing here, it has a very automotive feel. It's just like driving a truck. Sure. Just a little bit longer and you got a house on the back of it here. So it's very nice. For yeah. folks looking for an affordable, shorter, fuel efficient diesel that can go anywhere. I mean, it's mm. four wheel drive. Yep. This is a really great pick and talk about value. Discounted from near 230 down to 157 here at the show only through Sunday. Till four so, o'clock. Yep. I know there's a lot of people looking for those short diesels. You got a value one right here. Come on down. Let's take a look at here the rest we go now. Right here. We're going to check out some more diesels. Thanks, James. We got a lot of diesels here at the show. You know, it's something that we haven't had in a long time. I was saying yesterday on Becky's when we were looking at the Class B's, just the amount of inventory that we have here is crazy. You know, and that's something you don't see around the country right now. So many dealers are sold out or they don't have much. We're really lucky to have as much as we do. So moving on here, we have the Riata XL 37K, which is, it has a lot of high-end features. For some Hi, people. how are you? You want to be on camera? We'll, we'll let you finish and then we want to talk to you. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> oh, we, we just got to finish recording some of these and then, then I'll see you. Okay. Perfect. So the 37K Riata XL. This is on your K2 Spartan chassis. So independent front suspension is going to give you an incredible ride in a very short RV, only 37 feet. So floor plan itself. We've got your televator across from your motorized recliners, a really good amount of storage here with your fireplace right here in the living room. Excuse me, Todd. Great kitchen with the pull-out counter space there, dual-sided sink, induction cooktop, residential fridge. You have the bathroom right here in the middle. Glass shower enclosure and a huge shower. Do you see how wide that thing is? Yeah, man. I mean, there's all kinds of space in there. Moving towards the back, king-size bed, tons of storage back here. You've got your washer dryer, this nice slide door. Yeah, So man. for folks who are trying to keep a diesel pusher somewhat short, this one really has it all, and it's on that K2 Spartan chassis, so it's right. a great ride, easy features up front, independent front suspension. With 380 horsepower engine. That's right, it's got the ISL 380. It also has an aqua hot hydronic heating system, so all the features of those big, high-end luxury diesel pushers, but it's only 37 feet. Right. This RV is at $377,000 for an MSRP, discounted nearly $110,000 to $269 here at the show. 
only through Sunday. And that's what I wanted to point out, Tommy. You know, for me, I look at this right off the bat and I'm like, 269, this is crazy. I can get an Aria that's 40 foot, that's cheaper. I can get anything else that we looked at that's cheaper. But this is giving you all those higher end luxury features mm -hmm. in a smaller footprint, a smaller platform. That's right, the Spartan chassis with the K2, the K2 yep. which is the 380 engine. It's got a crazy amount of torque horsepower if you're towing or planning on going through the mountains somewhere this is going to be able to handle that with ease and it has the luxury features such as the aqua hot that people love to see great now it's time to look at that thor allegro i mean um tiffin allegro <laughs> <laughs> yes we <have> that. <laughs> he's like oh no he said it so here's the allegro red 37 ba another smart shorter floor so Tiffin's always been Just known for clean look. Yep. Clean look, very good build quality, and what a smart floor plan here. You've very got smart. The couches across from the televator. I'm surprised by how many windows there are in here. Feels very open yeah. for a shorter RV. Look at that huge window in the kitchen. That's insane. Yeah, and it's overlooking your real camp area, so it's going to be a comfortable one to hang out in. Dinette right here. As you move towards the back, you have your half bath. I have to just stop and note the quality of the woodwork here. Everything looks very clean, feels high end for a pretty affordable short RV. Yep. Residential fridge, lots of good storage and space in here. It's got the famous little Tiffin camper, which is pretty neat. Moving towards the back, king size bed, you've got your full bath. This is the washer dryer back here too, stackable wow. washer dryer really insane floor plan you know i like how they didn't conform to the white cabinetry and everything they they kind of kept it modern but they did it their own way and as tommy's saying the windows in here is crazy yeah it feels so open for a really short rv and you know it's made well it's still a tiffin yeah made in red bay alabama and here at the show wow we've got it discounted from 303 wow. down to 236 for this allegro red you're not seeing that anywhere in the country right now this weekend yeah, only that's this weekend only here at the hello show. hello you're on tv <laughs> you're on cam camera <laughs> no. all right we'll let you guys take a Sorry. look no you're fine no worries let's check out the phaeton now <clears throat> So next up, we've got the Allegro Reds big brother, the Fate, mm. and the 40AH floor plan here today. So first thing you notice are these seamless slides. It looks really clean. I can tell that when this is oh, wow. all the way in there, yep. it's going to have a really fresh look. Yep. Look at the steps walking in. I so mean, that's, that's nice. The quality of your flooring here. I don't think we have lights at the moment on this one. Nope. Wow. Oh, hang on. We might. On. I think Ron was having a problem with it this morning. Now, what's unique about this floor plan is that it's a single bath, 40 foot RV. This is on a raised rail ISL chassis. So it's got the 380 engine, 3000 series transmission, a really great ride. Your floor plan here has the long couch, your recliner, yeah. table and chairs in place of that dinette. So a little bit more comfortable and residential. TV right here, a huge kitchen. Huge kitchen here. Now, I mentioned that single bath. It's actually a walkthrough bathroom. Wow. So, for a single bath, it's got tons of counter space, the dual vanities, a huge glass enclosure on that shower. And the 40 AH's most notable feature is this walk in closet. Let's yeah, it's a little dark a, though. A little bit of light here, buddy. It's got your washer dryer back there, there and a straight up walk-in closet. Wow. So a lot of folks are willing to sacrifice that half, um, bath. half bath because of how nice this walk-through bath is. And they get that huge storage there. So full timers or folks who are staying seasonally, it's a pretty good trade off to have in keeping it at 40 feet. Those walk-in closets are something you usually only see in the big 44s, 45 footers. So cool. A good setup there. And here at the show. Wow. MSRP at 371, near hundred thousand dollars off to 279. You can't see that on a Phaeton anywhere. Stop the video, call and buy a Phaeton. <laughs> yes, that's, that's all you need to do. So next <clears> up, <throat> we're gonna hit the other end of the spectrum here. Actually, want to this one and move on to here. Please. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll come back to the pace era. That's one we definitely don't want to miss. Um, right here we have your Navigator 38K. Let's take a look. Bath and a half. Let's get these lights on, buddy. 
All right. 38K floor plan has been around for a long time, and that's wow. because it is very intelligent with how it's laid out. You get this huge U-shaped dinette, that's which is far more comfortable about. than that table and chairs. Theater seating right across from your TV and fireplace there. Huge kitchen, induction cooktops, residential fridge with the ice and water on the door. The finish here is a little bit... Um, just feels a little bit more comfortable. It doesn't have the shiny, shiny floors. It's yep. more of a matte finish. I like matte. woodwork. This one looks like it would stay clean very easily. Yeah. The darker colors definitely are different. Stackable. Half bath right here. Bath and a half. And then you got the king size bed. Very big. His and hers closets here. Some storage there. And then a big rear bathroom. Now see, Tommy, what I really like about this one is the price point what you're getting in this one in my opinion it kind of looks like you're getting the absolute most for the dollar well the rv itself is discounted from 320 to 220 hundred thousand yeah. dollars off it's a great value for a full-size coach a modular chassis so it's got the better ride better features this has holiday ramblers tech package too mm. so satellite wi-fi system collision avoidance through mobile eye built in multiplex wiring all of those extras that people like to love on their rvs you have here at a very affordable price i yeah. think holiday rambler did a great job with this yeah one. for sure hi guys howdy Oop, how are you guys? Love your videos. Love thank you. You're you're on one right now. Oh, thank you. Excellent. Where are you guys from? Atlanta. Thanks for coming down. Yeah. yeah anything you want to say to America? Call. Call, text, text email, <laughs> or FaceTime. Yeah. Wonderful. I'll see you guys when we're done. We're almost done. We just okay. got like three or four okay. more. All right. I'll be hanging around this area. Great. Good. Have a good so day. So let's hit this pace arrow while we're right here. This is the 35. <laughs> The 35RB, which is a unique floor plan, for sure. Okay, let's get lights. Okay. So, living room here, theater seating right across from your TV, drop-down wow. bed, this being a mid-entry coach. I want to jump right into the coolest thing about this layout. Oh, that wow. That has got to be this bunk setup. Everything in here closes off. You can close off the bathroom, the bedroom. This closes off with a pocket door. It's got this huge vanity area. Wow. And as it goes to the back, your bunk room, I mean, really, it's a two bedroom RV, 35 foot Freightliner diesel chassis Cummins engine, Allison transmission. This is a great family RV to travel the country with. Man, this is crazy. Never seen an RV like that. Like, there's so many doors. There's so many doors. I've met a few people who planned on. Like uh, taking the kids, traveling the country, and really being remote. People who maybe work remotely. Yeah. And this is like the perfect setup for folks like that. And it's less than two hundred thousand dollars. It's only one hundred and eighty-nine, discounted from two hundred and eighty thousand. So you got near one hundred thousand dollars off here at the wow. show, only through Sunday. Yes. It's a great deal for a family looking to travel. Come on down. We're here. Hey, Tommy. Our deco. Oh, he got it now. <laughs> He has it now. You guys are giving him crap because he didn't know the lines. Now he knows the lines. All right. Now we're going to Andrea's favorite, the Armadas. This is her well, favorite? She likes, well, she likes the Nautica, but... Well, this same. is the Nautica's, I guess, bigger big brother. brother in the Armada 40 Let's get this on right here. All oh, right. Wow. So the 40M is definitely the hottest floor plan out there right now. Yes. At the big super show, we could barely keep these things. I'm surprised we even have a few of them, but we do here at the show with great deals on them. Theater seating across from your televator. You got the table and chairs, pull out bed right here. What's unique about the Armada too is that it has a drop down bed in a coach of this caliber. trim level yeah. caliber. Yeah. So really great for bigger families or if you just have them around every now and then all electric so you have the induction cooktops this one has a dishwasher mm. you can see the quality of the woodwork flooring this nice matte finish and then things like this uh, tiled backsplash wow. it looks great this big one piece farm style sink 299 refrigerator with ice and water on the door here's your half bath Yes. Storage in here, little his and hers closets. 
lots of drawers and then the really neat thing about this 40m of course is the rear bath wow really look at nice that here. huge sinks dual vanities great storage all the way around check out the shower how it's tiled out instead of just being a fiberglass piece That's crazy that is crazy tommy man your washer dryer What's right crazy here. is we've been doing this for 30 minutes now. We have that many coaches at one time. We haven't had this in over a year, folks. It's been a very long time, but to see all of these different brands and inventory pieces in here inventory. together, yes, it's pretty incredible. And we're doing good deals on them. Tommy. You know, we used to sell RVs. Now we just place order on orders on RVs. But now we get to sell RVs again because we actually have them in stock. It's great, and I'm sure we're all very happy about it, being able to actually get your hands on these things and not wait till next year. This RV is priced down at two ninety nine, so a really great deal on a forty M when there's only a few twenty twenty ones left. All right, so we've got two more to go here. Okay. Um, what do you think, Matt? You want to do the uh, Armada? Armada start? last. Okay. We'll do this 38W. It's a very similar floor plan as the 40M. Well, it's kind of the little brother to the 40M. So when you compare the 38W to the 40M, they're both 40 feet 1 inch tip to tip. It's really the same layout. The biggest difference is that that Armada has the Girard awnings, the 380 engine. This has the 360. Mm. Same transmission, 3000 series. You lose the Girards, but you save a lot of money to do so. 20 grand though. I don't know, folks. I feel like if you're spending that too, you might as well go to 299. They're pretty close there. I, I think I probably would step up to that 40M2 for the extra engine size and things like just that. Just a flex. Just a flex. Still that 38 on it and yeah. um, and it being a Fleetwood Discovery is very nice. Of course, the decor here is great. Bath and a half, just like we saw before. Here, here's what I love about RVs, Tommy. Some people see the value and they're going to buy this one. And then some people don't see the value and they're going to buy that other one. The great that that's why I love options. You have lots of choices here. Yeah, I would have done it just for the shower. Dual vanities. That, that's a twenty thousand dollar shower. You know, I. Yep. I can't say I blame you, Matt. This is a great one too. But it's easy to say it hypothetically speaking until I write that check, right? And you never know what kind of deals you get to make at shows like this, too. So, you so know, you're I, saying we might have more wiggle room on this one than that one? Maybe, possibly? I mean, I don't make the call on it, but if somebody was up here ready to buy this thing today and they mm. needed that last little bit off, I wouldn't be surprised at all if they got themselves an incredible We're wheeling deal. and dealing. Yes, sir. This weekend only. This yeah. weekend only through Sunday. All right, we got one more. One more to go, and it's one I'm most excited about. I think that's why we started on that side. It's our only tag axle coach here, and it is the Armada 44LE, a really intelligent design and floor plan. All the features of these high-end coaches and at an incredible value for this category of coach. Okay. So pretty similar to the 40M, just yep. a little stretched out. You have your theater seating across from your Televator, mm -hmm. the drop-down bed, the beautiful matte finish, Corian countertops, all solid woods. You get a fireplace in this one, which is wow. pretty nice. The huge sink, residential refrigerator, pull-out pantries, little half bath here. A wonderful amount of size to your living area. Yep. And the good thing about that is usually you, you give something up to get this kind of space. You don't give up a thing here. Great storage, king size walk around bed. And I want to get right back to this bathroom because it really is mm. awesome. Mm. First thing you know, I mean, look how big the shower is. Wow. Probably the widest shower out of any of the RVs. Look at that. This is, you know, a huge shower for by any standard, even for houses. Good storage here, and then it's closed off bathroom. Yeah. Very cool. And then the amount of storage in here is absolutely insane. It's got the dual vanities, but they're kind of cornered off here, so it has a ridiculous amount of counter space. Yep. For folks who are planning on staying full-time, seasonally, long-term camping trips, I mean, you really cannot beat this. And to have this separated bathroom in this way, I mean, it's like the only thing like it. Yeah. So it's unique. It's very comfortable. I can see why so many folks have, have gone this way. 
I want to show you the best part though, because you look at these big tag axle coaches, the all electrics with these big chassis, and they're all 400, 500,000. Here at the show only, discounted from $470, wow. $140,000 off wow. for Sunday at $329. I've worked all the big shows, and this is the same price you had at the Super Show. It's a wonderful Man, value. at Tampa Super Show. There you go. We got to get rid of them. We're getting manufacturer help. Well, a lot of it, I think, is because the 2022s are right around the corner. Yep. So we're really trying to get these out and about here. And that's yep. why you see these great values here at the show. The extra help from the manufacturer set definitely gets us there. Great. Let's step outside. Well, everyone, that's it. That's the video. That's the tour of the diesel pushers with Tom Bennett at the Jacksonville RV show. Do me a huge favor. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know which one you liked and which one you didn't like. And Tommy, how do people get a hold of you? Well, if you want to get a hold of me, you can always call me or text me on my cell phone, which is 561-348-4231. Come on down to the show. Take a look at all of them firsthand for yourself. Yep, and Tom Bennett does work out of the Tampa store. He is the motorhome specialist out of there. So if you need anything before, during, or after even a show, make sure you give him a call. Thank you. Thanks so much, brother.